100 times at least. It's 100 times easier when you do this technique. 100 times easier. And here there's a secret you can do in the kick shot and that is by using side spin in the kick shot. And with side spin uh, you can reverse the angle to get it straighter. And here, here I use right spin to change the angle back. And if you use left spin here, you see this is the wrong way, you use left spin, you're creating a tougher angle for the cue ball to travel in. It will, you, you, you will have more angle when hitting the tree. But if you use inside spin, right spin, you can hit the rail further down and come this way. You are going to, the cue ball is going to travel a straighter line from the rail into the ball. So here I use the right spin and I use a stop shot as well. Stop shot and right spin. And you see, you make the kick shot more easily that way. It goes straighter towards the ball. And I'm going to show it the wrong way that many players do. They use top spin and inside spin. They're going to miss the ball. Really tough to hit the, it straight when it is both curving after hitting the rail and going a too thin cut shot towards the ball. So you want to have straight path out from the rail that will, that will greatly improve your odds of making the kick shot. So that's the secret you can do. And the second thing is just to use a stop shot. Stop shot into the rail because with a stop shot the cue ball will not curve after hitting the rail. It will not curve. If you use a draw shot or a follow shot the cue ball will curve after hitting the rail and it's really tough to uh, make, the, uh, make the ball in the kick shot. So use a, a stop shot into the rail. Just imagine that uh, there's a ball here in the rail that, and you have to make a stop shot where the cue ball will stop. I will, I'm going to show you the stop shot. Cue ball will stop there. That's exactly the uh, shot you want to make when hitting the rail. So just imagine there's a cue ball. Just imagine there's an object ball on the rail that you want to stop the cue ball in. And combine that with uh, uh, right spin on this shot, right spin, the reverse shot, the reverse spin that will come out from the rail like that instead of going forwards. So on this, this shot it is right spin. If I shoot it from the other side, I will be using a left spin here, away, away from the three ball, left spin here, left spin on this shot, because I, I want to get this kind of angle, I want, I want to hit the rail there, okay? And normally, if you make a center ball shot, the cue ball will take this path out. But with the left spin, I, it will come back. It will come back. It will come back straight towards the three. And if I would hit the rail over here with right spin, uh, it would take this direction and uh, it will be hitting the three in a cut angle. But if I hit the rail there, it will be hitting the three ball straighter which will uh, improve your odds of making the shot, okay? And you can do the same thing with the longer shots as well. Like you have a shot, uh, you, have, you have the ball over here, you have a really long shot. You still make the stop shot, but to do that you need to use more jaw to be able to make that stop shot, okay? So I'm gonna go into the long rail there, into the bottom rail with the stop shot, more jaw, and a little bit of right spin to get angle back. And you see, you see how straight the cue ball went when hitting the rail, went towards the three ball. It went straight. And if I do it the wrong way, I will do it the wrong way. I will have more angle now that many players, many players do it like this. They hit the rail further away. And now the three ball will be hit at an angle. The cue ball traveled at an angle towards the three ball. So it's much better to get the cue ball to that rail and back in a straight line towards the three ball to make it able to hit it uh, fuller and straighter, which will improve your odds of uh, making the ball. Okay, so what if you can't make a shot like that? Maybe there's a ball in the way. You can't do it. You can't hit the rail there. You have to hit the rail further away. How do you do it then? you still use a stop shot and use the left spin that you need. You always try to use a stop shot 
into the rail. So and I'm going to show it to you. Stop shot with left spin here. It is still going. Uh, it still goes straight uh, after the rail. It doesn't. It doesn't curve with the top spin and, and bottom spin. But you see, because I hit it at an angle, it was much tougher to hit the three ball when it came in. Came came into the three ball at an angle, it was much tougher to hit. And if, I, if it goes straight towards the three like that, it's much easier to hit the three ball. Okay, and I'm going to show it the wrong way with the top spin. Many players use top spin. That will curve, that will make the cur keyboard curve. You see, it will curve after hitting the rail. You don't want to do that. You want it to be, you don't, you don't want the, the keyboard to have any forward or backward spinning motion when hitting the rail. It needs to be just uh, sliding, sli sliding into the rail and coming out in a straight line. And that is how you make kick shots more easily. It is almost like cheating when you know this. And I'm going to show it to you it again. And I'm going to be removing the eight ball there. And I will have the, an extreme example here that I need to hit the rail over there and be further away with the cue ball. I need to use a lot of right spin on this shot to be able to get it straight up fr from the rail. Like that. And you see I hit the three ball there. Let's do it again, an even ex more extreme example. A shot like this where I really have to use a lot, a lot of right spin to reverse the angle out from, from the rail there. Like that, you see, it goes straight towards the three ball. I hit it every time because it is much easier when hitting the rail, reversing it with side spin, coming straight towards the object ball. Let me show you some examples of these kick shots. And I'm going to go straight towards the three ball, like that. You see, I was able to hit it, which normally on those shots is really tough. Now on this shot, I will show you reverse spin here. Again, quite close. And I will show you the wrong way here, that many players do the wrong way. Whoa, you missed the ball. And the other example here, of this, this kick shot with top spin, right spin, you miss the ball. But with the correct way, uh, stop shot into the rail with left spin, much easier to hit the ball, you see. Much easier. It's like cheating. I will do it again. Stop shot with left spin on this shot. I'm, I'm getting much closer when I do this. And this is the wrong way with top spin. Just pure top spin. You see it curved, it curved when hitting the rail with top spin. That's the wrong way to do it. You want it to use a stop shot with the left, left spin here. You see, much easier to make the ball. Huge, you, you are going to improve your game by 100 times at least. It's 100 times easier when you do this technique. 100 times easier. Okay, so all of these examples have been when the object ball is close to the, close to the rail here. And the pocket is over here, so you want to hit the, the spot over here to create a straight angle of the two and the pocket. But what if uh, the two ball is higher up here? Then you don't want to hit lower down on this rail, because then you will create an angle which is tougher to make the two ball. So if you have a kick shot like this, uh, you don't want to do the same thing as the other examples where the object ball was close to the rail. You don't want to hit lower down on the rail because then you will create a cut angle. Okay? You want it to be straight in. You want to create a, a straighter angle out from the rail to be able to hit the ball fuller. So this, this time I will be hitting higher up on the rail and I will be using right spin. Right spin to create that straight angle to make the kick shot straighter instead of having, having an angle on the, on the kick shot. So I'll be using right spin and hitting the, this rail with a stop shot. Low right spin. You see, I was coming out straight from the rail that time. And now, if, now I make it the wrong way by hitting lower down on the rail. And now I will be getting a, a cut, cut angle out from the rail 
which is much tougher to make the two ball. You see, even when I hit the two ball straight on, it went over here. It missed the pocket. So I want the cue ball to go straight towards the two ball, full on, and have the correct angle so it is going straight towards the pocket. And the only way to do that is to be hitting the rail uh, up here. Hitting the rail up here to create that straight angle towards the pocket. And if the cue ball is over here, then yes, with center ball, you can create the straight angle already. But if the cue ball is over here, you need to use right spin on this shot to create that angle. Okay, and if the cue ball is over here, you need to use uh, left spin to, to reverse the angle out, to create that same straight line uh, coming out from the rail and being straight, you will form a line of the contact point of the cushion, the two ball and the pocket. You want to form a straight line and that's the point where you want to hit the cue ball at to create that straight line, okay? But you don't want to create a tougher shot that you, you have to use too much side spin. Then it, it, you are going the, going the wrong direction there. You want to have a kind of a balance of uh, the difficulties. So you, you want to use about half tip side spin. Don't use too much. Just half tip and accept to have a kind of a cut, slight cut angle on the, on the two ball there. So I will be using half a tip of right spin here and use the low on the cue ball. Just half a tip. And that really uh, maximized the chances of uh, getting a good shot. If I, if I would be using too much side spin to be able to create this straight line, I will be making it way too tough. So I will show it to you. I will use extreme right spin here. Extreme right spin, it would be really tough to control when using too much side spin. So you want to find the balance of uh, the amount of side spin there. And here, of course, the wrong way is to use left spin here and hit lower down because then you are going to create too much of a cut angle. So I'm, I will be using a little bit of a half a tip of right spin here. I don't want to be using too much right spin and hit higher up on the rail to make it straighter in. So you always want to find that balance in every kick shot that will have a combination of both the angle out from the rail and the amount of side spin you use. So using too much side spin, just to create a straighter angle, it actually can have a negative effect in, in, the, in the odds of making the shot. So find that balance in every kick shot. I'm going to be using a half a tip of low and a stop shot. And you see, that is quite accurate. A lot more accurate than if I would be making it in the wrong way with a standard center ball shot. This is a st standard center ball shot, and you see I missed the ball. I didn't even hit the two ball there. Didn't even hit it. And using a draw shot, a standard, uh, there's a stop shot, no side spin. It is even better than the standard uh, roll shot. So I will show it, but it's not really, it's not really the optimal way to use just a, that's a st stop shot. I couldn't hit it that good there. So you want to combine it with side spin to improve your odds, and it is different for every kick shot. The amount of side spin is different for every kick shot, but there's one common thing here, and that's by using a stop shot into the rail to avoid the curve the cuball will take when hitting the rail. So a stop shot is really what you need to focus on, the, the first, first, first thing. So here I use low right spin, stop shot, and you see how close I am on every single shot on a, on a kick shot like this. It's really amazing how easy, how much easier you can make the game if you, if you shoot it the correct way into the rail. Much easier. You don't need much skill on these kick shots. And you see many pros who make these kick shots often, they use the same technique as I am. Stop shot into the rail. And you can have it uh, in the center of the table like this. What kind of a side spin should I use here? Right spin. I want to use right spin to hit the rail closer to the side pocket to create a straighter angle out from the rail. And if the cue ball is, uh, uh, 
if the cuboid is over here, then I want to use the left spin to create the angle, to create the straight angle here. I don't want to be using right spin and create a more, more of a cut angle here. I want to hit the rail over there. So I use left spin to change the angle towards the two ball and the pocket. Okay, so that is how you make these kick shots. And uh, just practice that and practice the spin you need and the angles. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.